Introduction to Ineptitude Anatomy Hi, and thank you for joining us. In this video, we are going to kickstart the study of Inuktitut Anatomy using a few resources that already exist out there. The terms you will be learning are from the North Baffin dialect of Nunavut. Some terms may be pronounced differently by other Inuit groups, but many will understand what you will be saying. I encourage you to practice pronouncing the letters of the Inuktitut alphabet on your own time so that it will be easier to pronounce the words you are about to learn. A video on YouTube called Learn the Inuktitut Alphabet Song teaches you how to pronounce the Inuktitut letters. Also, you can learn more Inuktitut Anatomy by obtaining a PDF copy of a book called Terminology on Human Anatomy. If you Google this title, and you will find it. All right, here we go. Three things already exist that make it easier to learn a number of Inuktitut anatomical terms, and they are the Inuktitut word for Caucasian, the translated head and shoulders song, and the where is the thumb song. From these, we will learn 17 anatomical terms, several words for medications, how to have a short question and answer, and play a little game all in Inuktitut. Here are two diagrams. One of the face, the other is of the human body. Please fill out all the terms that we will be learning today as we go along. All right, let's get started. The Inuktitut word for Caucasian will provide us with our first two anatomical terms. Before we proceed, let's briefly talk about Inuit nomenclature to get a better sense of why ethnic groups have been named in such a way. When the Inuit started having contact with other non-Inuit people, some ethnic groups were given names that describe a particular trait or characteristic of the group. In fact, some people and dogs were named in this fashion. Here are some common Inuit names for non-Inuit people. When you translate the word for indigenous people, it means lice-ridden or lousy. Caucasian means eyebrow and abdomen put together. For the French language or French people, it is oui oui or yes yes. And Negroes are called Portuguese. These names have not been developed recently and do not intend to offend anyone in any way. Nonetheless, the word for Caucasian is our first lesson in the study of Inuktitut anatomy, and we're going to learn two anatomical terms out of it. Does anyone know what the Inuktitut word for Caucasian is? Yeah, what is it? Yes, exactly, you're correct. The Inuktitut word for Caucasian is Kalunak. 
قلناق قل ل ناق قلناق قلناق describes two inuktitut anatomical terms does anyone know what they are yes exactly Kalluna describes an eyebrow and an abdomen. An eyebrow plus abdomen equals Caucasian. The inuktitut word for eyebrow is Kallu. 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 Now let's look at the abdomen. The inuktitut word for abdomen is naq. 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 Caucasian kalluna eyebrow kallu abdomen naq the inuktitut word for caucasian is no longer just a description of an ethnic group it now contains two inuktitut anatomical terms put together kallu and na Congratulations for learning your first two anatomical terms. Are there any questions? Shall we move on? In this children's song, we are going to learn eight new anatomical terms. Let's briefly talk about the changes that occurred when the song Head and Shoulders was translated. Two changes were made when the song was translated into Inuktitut, and as a result, it yielded only anatomical terms. Number one, plural words like shoulders and knees were converted to singular words. And number two, the conjunction and was removed from the song. The lyrics of the Inuktitut version of the head and shoulders is therefore head, shoulder, knee, toe, eye, ear, mouth, nose. Let us now learn these terms in Inuktitut and use the song to help us remember them. In this section, we're going to listen to the Inuktitut version of the song first, and then we will learn to pronounce each term. Afterwards, we will sing the song together. A normal tempo will be used to sing the song. Listen carefully how each word is pronounced. All right, here we go. All right, let's divide the song into two sections the body parts and the facial parts. Once again, here are the lyrics for the song. Head, shoulder, knee, toe. Knee, toe, knee, toe. Head, shoulder, knee, toe. The inuktitut word for head is 
Nakok 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 The inuktitut word for shoulder is Tui Tui Tu E Tui the inuktitut word for knee is Sekok 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 The inuktitut word for toe is Putugok Pu to go. Pu to go. Well done. Let's sing the first part of the song together before we proceed. Now let's learn the facial terms identified in this song. Eye, ear, mouth, nose. The inuktitut word for eye is Eye, eye, e, ye, eye. The inuktitut word for ear is siuti, siuti, si, u, ti. Siuti. The inuktitut word for mouth is Kanek. Kanek. Ka. Nek. Kanek. The inuktitut word for nose is Kingak Kingak K Nak Kingak Great work! Keep trying to pronounce these words properly and you'll get better at it. Now let's sing the second part of the song together before we sing the whole song. Iji siuti kane kenga. Awesome guys. Let's sing the whole song together now and then you'll have a chance to practice singing the song in Inuktitut. Are you ready? Congratulations guys for learning a new Inuktitut song. Yay! Alright, let's review what we learned. After the review, we'll take five minutes to practice learning the song and then take a 10 minute break. The Head and Shoulders song is on your computer and it is called Head and Shoulders in Inuktitut. Please have your headphones handy and fill out the diagrams before we move on to our next lesson. Let's review what we learned and then we'll move on. In this portion of the lesson, 
we learn the song by dividing it into two parts, the body part and the facial part. Each part contained four inuktitut anatomical terms. In the body part, the terms are head, shoulder, knee, toe. What is the inuktitut word for head? Correct. Neakok. Thank you. How about for shoulder? Tui, exactly. What is the Inuktitut word for knee? Ooh, that's a hard one. Sikok. Yes, correct. And for toe? Putugok. Awesome. Thank you guys. The facial parts identified in this song are eye, ear, mouth, nose. Let's find out what we remember. What is the Inuktitut name for the eye? Yes, Iye, correct. And for the ear? Exactly, Siuti. How about for the mouth? Oh, Kanek, Kanek. Nice try, Kanek. And finally, what is the Inuktitut name for the nose? Yes, Kringa. Exactly. Well done, guys. When the song Head and Shoulders was translated, it was stripped to pure Inuktitut anatomical terms. Plural words like ears, knees, were changed to singular words and the word end was removed from the song. In the translated version, we therefore are able to learn eight Inuktitut anatomical terms. Head, shoulder, knee, toe, eye, ear, mouth, nose. Here are the Inuktitut words for each term. Neakok, Tui, Sekok, Putuok, Iyi, Siuti, Kanak, Kainga. Let's sing the song together one more time. Na kotu se kok putu wok se kok putu wok se kok putu wok na kotu se kok putu wok e ye se ti kane kinga. A job well done for learning these words in Inuktitut. Yay! You can either take a ten minute break first or listen to the song for five minutes. It will be up to you. You will be able to listen to the song on your own time throughout the course as well. All right. See you back in 15 minutes. The English word for ear, C-U-T, could be used to describe medicines like headache medicine, eardrops, and ointments by using the term as a suffix. For example, the English word for treating headaches 
is a combination of head and ear. Nakoksiuti. Head plus ear equals headache medicine. Nakoksiuti. 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 Here are some common English words that contain suti as the suffix. Ear plus ear equals eardrum or suti suti. Eye plus ear equals eyedrop. E suti. Body part plus ear equals ointment or medication for a specific body part. For example, a cream for the shoulder or tui siuti. Alright. Tooth and ear combined already has a specific inuktitut name. And it is the word for a toothbrush and toothpaste. Tooth plus ear equals toothbrush and paste. Toothbrush and toothpaste have pretty much the same name. If you have the other one, you will know what you are talking about. We will deviate from our lesson and learn the words for tooth and toothbrush before we proceed. Please fill out the diagram and put it aside for later use. Are you ready to learn the Inuktitut word for tooth? Let's begin. The Inuktitut word for tooth is Kiguti 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 The inuktitut word for toothbrush is Kiguti Siuti Kiguti Siuti Kiguti Siuti Kiguti Siuti Congratulations for learning another Inuktitut anatomical term and the medical terminology that was developed by the Inuit. Let's discuss one more thing about the ear suffix and then we will work on our last lesson. As we have seen earlier, the ear suffix could be applied to any body part to describe medication. This suffix could also be applied to any other noun and it will describe this item is designated for, for example, dog food is the sum of dog and ear. Another example, children often say the items are for girl stuff or boy stuff using the ear suffix. Girl plus ear equals girl's items. Boy plus ear equals boy's items. What body parts do you add with the ear to come up with market food. Hint. There are three body parts contained in the word. What are they? Kallulak siuti. Exactly. Market food. Kallulak siuti. Alright. Let's try another one. Person plus ear 
equals what? Hint. You have to convert the Inuit word to singular. What is it? Correct. Inuksuti. Country food equals Inuk plus Suti. Inuk Suti. What kinds of items can you think of by combining the Inuk word for ear and a noun? Yay, that's a good application. Thank you for your input. The main idea is that suffixes play a significant role in the Inuit language. One of the body parts we learned in this video, the ear, could be turned into a suffix and then be used to describe medicines and other items. All right. Are there any questions? Shall we move on? The Where is the Thumb song is a little conversation between our fingers. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to do three things, and they are Learn the Inuktitut names of our hand and digits Ask a few questions and play a little game in Inuktitut And learn to sing a children's song in Inuktitut This song will be divided into five sections, and they are Go over the English translation. Listen to the song being sung in Inuktitut. Learn the Inuktitut names of the hand and the digits. Learn to ask and answer questions in Inuktitut. And practice singing the song. Please fill out the hand diagram with Inuktitut names that we'll identify in this section. Are you guys ready? All right, let's begin. Let's go over the lyrics translated into English. In the Where is the Thumb song, the fingers are taking turns having the same conversation with each other. The lyrics translated into English are Where's the thumb? Where is the thumb? Here it is. Here it is. How are you doing today? Doing fine today. Let us leave. Let us leave. Where is the index finger? Where is the index finger? Here it is. Here it is. How are you doing today? Doing fine today. Let us leave. Let us leave. Where is the middle finger? Where is the middle finger? Here it is. Here it is. How are you doing today? Doing fine today. Let us leave. Let us leave. Where is the ring finger? Where is the ring finger? Here it is. Here it is. How are you doing today? Doing fine today. Let us leave. Let us leave. Where is the pinky finger? Where is the pinky finger? Here it is. Here it is. How are you doing today? Doing fine today. Let us leave. Let us leave. Where is the hand? Where is the hand? Here it is. Here it is. How are you doing today? Doing fine today. Let us leave. Let us leave. Please note, 
The hand is not traditionally included in the song, but I added it to sum up the whole hand. Now that we know what we're going to learn, let's turn to the Inuktitut version. Let's listen to the song, Where is the Thumb in Inuktitut, before we learn to pronounce each word. Please listen carefully to the sound each word makes. The song will be sung in a normal tempo. Are you ready? All right. Naugli kullu, naugli kullu, uvvauna, uvvauna. Kanu ippi ullumi, kanu ingi ullumi, aula lu, aula lu. Naugli tikir, naugli tikir, uvvauna, uvvauna. Kanu ipi ulumi, kanu ingi ulumi, au la lu, au la lu. Nau le kateh lek, nau le kateh lek, uvau na, uvau na. Kanu ipi ulumi, kanu ingi ulumi, au la lu, au la lu. Nau le mikilera, nau le mikilera. Uvauna, uvauna, kanu ipi ulumi, kanu ingi ulumi, au la lu, au la lu. Naugli ikikko, naugli ikikko, uvauna, uvauna, kanu ipi ulumi, kanu ingi ulumi, au la lu, au la lu. Naugli aga, naugli aga, uvauna, uvauna. Kanu ipi ulumi, kanu ingi ulumi, au la lu, au la lu. Now that we know what we're up against, let's work to decipher it. We'll start with the six anatomical terms and then move on to the Inuktitut conversation. Let's learn the name for each digit and hand following the song. From the thumb to the pinky and then the hand. The song will be sung in a normal tempo. Are you ready? All right. The inuktitut word for the thumb is kullu, 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 kullu. The inuktitut word for the index finger is tikak, tikak. T, kick, tikak. The inuktitut word for the middle finger is katakluk, katakluk, k, tikluk, katakluk. The English word for the ring finger is Mikilerak Mikilerak Mi Ki Le Rak Mikilerak The inuktitut word for the pinky finger is ekkok, 
e ka ko ko e ka ko ko e ka ko ko the english word for the hand is aga 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 congratulations for learning all the inuktitut anatomical terms for this lesson a job well done guys yay once again here are the inuktitut anatomical terms for the fingers and for the hand Kullu Tikak Kadakshak Mikilak Ekakok Agha Please note the proper word for the index finger was being taught in this lesson. However, in the song, the first letter is elongated to follow the rhythm. The term for the index finger. Proper term. Ticket. Term in the lyrics. Ticket. When you are reviewing your material, Please remember the difference between the proper and the lyrical term for the index finger in Inuktitut. Also known about the index finger. A thimble has the same Inuktitut name as the index finger. Surprise! Now you know another Inuktitut name for something. Index finger. Thimble. All right, now that we learned the variable or inuktitut anatomical words, let's learn to have a short inuktitut conversation and play a game. During this lesson, the finger terms will be used to build your vocabulary. Let's remind ourselves of the English translation before we learn the Inuktitut conversation. Where is the digit? Where is the digit? Here it is. Here it is. How are you today? Doing fine today. Let us leave. Let us leave. All right. Let's start with the first question and answer. The first question and response is a fun game to play with Inuktitut speaking children. It is equivalent to the I Spy game. Where is the item? Where is the item? Here it is. Here it is. Just like the I Spy game, the variable item could be replaced with any item or noun. Where is the item? Let's learn in Inuktitut. The Inuktitut word for where is the is Naugli. 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 Awesome. Now let's learn how the other finger responds. Here it is. The inuktitut phrase, here it is, could be broken down into two by dividing the inuktitut word into here and this. Let's look at each of them. The Inuktitut word for here is 
Uva. 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 The inuktitut word for this is una. Una. U. Na. Una. When you combine the two, you get here it is. Or, uvona. Uvona. Uva. Una. Uvona. No. Proper words for where is the, and here it is, were taught in this lesson. The elongated sounds for these two phrases has the same concept as the index finger modification. Where is the, and here it is, are Naugli and Uvauna respectively. Let's practice this question and response using the digits of our hand in Inuktitut. Let's begin. Naugli kullu, naugli kullu, uvauna, uvauna, naugli tikek, naugli tikek. Uvauna, uvauna, naugli kitekhlek, naugli kitekhlek, uvauna, uvauna, naugli mikilera, naugli mikilera, uvauna, uvauna. Naugli ikhikho, naugli ikhikho, uvauna, uvauna. That's awesome. Now you can play a guessing game in Institute. Congratulations. Our next set of questions and answers could be used to reach a variety of Institute speakers in Nunavut. And you may have even learned them before. And they are... How are you doing today? Doing fine today. The Inuktitut words for how are you doing today are... Kanuipi ullumi. We'll start with... How are you doing? And then... Today, and finish off with doing fine. The Inuktitut word for how are you doing is Kanuitpi. Kanuitpi. Ka nui pi. Kanuitpi. The Inuktitut word for today is Ullumi 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 How are you doing today? Kanuipi Ullumi The response to that question is Doing fine today. Kanuni ulumi. Doing fine. Kanuni. Ka nui ni. Kanuni. Do you remember the Inuktitut word for today? What is it? Yes, exactly. It's 
Ulumi. Combine the two and you get doing fine today. Kanuni Ulumi. Note about how are you doing. Traditionally, Inuit did not ask how they are doing upon encountering each other. It is now a common courtesy to ask your family and friends how they are doing when you first see them. You can ask someone, how are you in Inuktitut? Kanuipi. Or, how are you doing today? Kanuipi ullumi. Note about doing fine. A suffix is missing to describe I am, we are, etc. Doing fine to follow the rhythm of the song. Regardless, it is still understandable to say doing fine in response to how are you. This phrase is just shortened version of I am fine. Kanuingi. And finally, the last Inuktitut word is applicable to this lesson, and it is, let us leave. The Inuktitut word for let us leave is, Aulaklu. 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 This last line is more like a person asking a directive question to see if we could leave. Once again, let us leave in Inuktitut is Let's sing the second verse twice. How are you doing today? Doing fine today. Let us leave. Let us leave. Kanui pe ulumi, kanui ni ulumi, au la lu, au la lu. Kanui pe ulumi, kanui ni ulumi, au la lu, au la lu. Hooray, you did it! You learned the whole song in Institute filled with applicable lines outside our studies. Let's finish off this lesson by singing the entire song in Institute. Are you ready? Here we go. Now glee kullu, now glee kullu, uvvauna, uvvauna, kanu ippi ullumi. Kanuingi ulumi aula lu aula lu Nagli tikir nagli tikir uvauna uvauna Kanuipi ulumi kanuingi ulumi aula lu aula lu Nagli katakhlek nagli katakhlek Uvauna, uvauna, kanuipi ulumi, kanuingi ulumi, au la lu, au la lu. Nagli mikilera, nagli mikilera, uvauna, uvauna, kanuipi ulumi, kanuingi ulumi, au la lu, au la lu. Now gli ekkok, now gli ekkok, o vauna, o vauna, kanui pe ulumi, kanui ni ulumi, au la lu, au la lu. Now gli aga, now gli aga, o vauna, o vauna. Kanui pe ulumi, kanui ni ulumi, au la lu, au la lu. I am very glad you have learned this much about Inuktitut 
and the anatomical terms the Inuit inherited from their ancestors. Congratulations! This song is also on your computer and it is called Where's the Thumb? Inuit Children's Song. Please take five minutes to listen to the song on your own time and then take a 10 minute break. When we come back, we're going to review today's lesson and finish off for the day. Are there any questions? All right, we'll see you in 15 minutes. In today's class, we learned our first 17 Inuit anatomical terms that are throughout our body and have a short conversation with Inuktitut speakers. We also took advantage of an Inuktitut word, the ear, that could be used as a suffix to describe medical terms invented by the Inuit. We used three vehicles to build our vocabulary and they are Inuktitut word for Caucasian, the Head and Shoulders song, and the Where is the Thumb song. In the Caucasian word, we learn these two terms, eyebrow and abdomen, which equals to Caucasian. What is the Inuktitut word for eyebrow? Correct. Kallu. How about the abdomen? Exactly. Nak. And what is the Inuktitut word for Caucasian? Yes, it's Kallu Nak. We digress to Inuit nomenclature to learn the context of names for Caucasians and other people. We learned that several ethnic groups have been named by the Inuit according to their characteristic, and that these names have been developed long ago. Awesome, let's move on to our first song. In the Head and Shoulders song, we learn the translated version yielded pure anatomical terms. Four on the body and four on the face. Let's sing the song together to review the words it contains. <laughs> Keep up the good work. In the song, the body terms identified are head, shoulder, knee, toe. What is the Inuktitut word for head? Yes. How about for shoulder? Tui, exactly. What is the Inuktitut word for knee? Yes. Sikok. How about for the toe? Putu. Awesome. In the facial region, we learn four more terms, and they are eye, ear, mouth, nose. What is the Inuktitut word for eye? E, correct. An ear? Siuti, exactly. How about for the mouth? It's a hard one, but you got it. It's kanik. 
and finally for the nose and it's even harder it's king up in this section we deviated from the head and shoulders song because we were able to describe medications by transforming one of the terms into a suffix and that term is ear what is the energy word for ear yes correct it's siuti when you insert the energy word for ear after any body part you can start seeing in digital terms for medications specific to the region. For example, the inuktitut word for shoulder cream is a combination of shoulder and ear. Tui siuti. Since the name for toothbrush and paste already exists, we decided to learn the word which is a combination of tooth and ear. Tooth plus ear equals toothbrush and paste. What is the ancient word for tooth? Yes, kiyuti. How about for toothbrush? Yes, kiyuti siuti. The ear suffix could also be applied to anything in general, and it will describe an item made for that particular thing or person. Let's use our territory as an example. When you combine Nunavut and ear, you can describe a variety of items like snowmobile. Nunavut Siuti. Can you think of an item that is designated for a person or a species or something else? Wow, that's a very good application. Thank you. And someone else? Yes, exactly. You guys are using it in the right way. Keep it up. All right, let's move on. Where is the thumb song had the most non-anatomical terms? The contents were useful in our everyday lives, like asking and answering questions. In the song, the fingers are taking turns having the same conversation with each other. The song contains the inuktitut anatomical terms for the fingers and for the hand to sum up the whole appendage. This portion makes up the variable words in the song. The conversation is the constant portion of the song. It provides us with useful inuktitut words that could be used to play a game and as a conversation starter. Once again, let's sing the song together to remind us what we learned. Naugli kullu, naugli kullu, uvvauna, uvvauna, kanuipi ullumi, kanuingi ullumi, aula lu, aula lu. Nagli tikir, nagli tikir, uvvauna, uvvauna, kanui pi ullumi, kanui ngi ullumi, aula lu, aula lu. Nagli kadak lek, nagli kadak lek, uvvauna, uvvauna, Kanui pi ullumi, kanui ngi ullumi, aula lu, aula lu. Nagli mikilera, nagli mikilera, uvvauna, uvvauna. Kanui pi ullumi, kanui ngi ullumi, aula 
Good job, guys. The integrated word for the hand is aga. On the aga, Inuit have names for each finger, and the names of each finger were identified in the song. What is the Inuit name for the thumb? Yes, kulu. And the index finger? Tikak. Exactly. How about for the middle finger? Kitaklik. That's a hard one. Kitaklik. And the ring finger? Mikilrak. Mikilrak. And finally, Pinky. We accidentally learned a new Inuksijit word, and that new word was for a thimble which has the same name as the index finger. And what is the digit name for the index finger? Tikik. You guys are doing an amazing job. We're almost done. The constant word in the song could be divided into two sections. The I Spy Game and the conversation starter. The lines for the I Spy game are Where is the item? Where is the item? Here it is. Here it is. What is the entity word for? Where is? Yes. Now glee. How about for here it is? Correct. Uvauna. Let's try the Inuktitut lines with our thumb. Naugli kulu, naugli kulu. Uvauna, uvauna. Awesome. Now let's turn to the second question and answer. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine today. What is the English word for how are you doing today? Kanipe ulumi. That's right. How about for doing fine today? Kanungi ulumi. Awesome. And finally, the song ends with, let us leave. What is the English word for let us leave? Exactly. Aulalu. Congratulations guys for learning your first set of English anatomical terms and its applications. You guys made great strides today. I am confident you will continue to improve your institute speaking skills. I encourage you to study these materials before our next class. When we come back tomorrow, we will continue to expand our institute human anatomy by dividing them into the head, 
the body, and the hand. Are there any questions? Shall we finish for today? Alright then, have a good night everyone. Bye.